beautiful Marmors and welcome back. Today we're going to be making Hot Cheeto Oreos. My two favorite snacks, Hot Cheetos and Oreos. We're going to combine those. Let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is add some butter and some sugar together and whip those bad boys up together just like this. Yes, I love mixing butter and sugar. I don't know who thought of this. I'm going to add an egg in there. Whip it up. Oh, it looks so creamy. Now I'm going to mix the dry ingredients. I'm going to put some flour in this bad boy, some baking powder, some salt, cocoa powder directly in there, and some red food coloring. Now I'm going to add some hot Cheetos. You cannot forget the hot Cheetos in there. I'm going to mix this bad boy all up just like that. Look at all the cocoa. I'm going to put it back into the cream butter and sugar. Mix this all up. Oh, it's turning red now. I'm going to add the rest of it. Oh, yeah. Keep mixing it. Keep mixing it. Keep mixing it all the way. Yes. 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 Look how beautiful this is turning out. Oh, my goodness. Hot Cheeto Oreos are becoming a thing. Now, it's time to put these in a little balls first before we make them into the beautiful Oreos you guys know and love. So once you have a ton of these balls laid out just like this, you just want to make little balls just like this. And then you want to get a cup and warm up the bottom of these little ramkins or bowls. If you have bowls just like this, you want to use these warm bottoms to actually squish these balls to make the Oreos that we know and love. These are just like cookie size, but they're so beautiful. Time to put these bad boys in the oven just like this and let's make our hot Cheeto cream on the inside. Put our butter in there. Now we have some coconut oil. We're going to mix that all up and add our powdered sugar slowly and keep mixing and add more powdered sugar to this. Add some vanilla, add some water, just like that. Mix this all up. And of course, the hot Cheetos. Mm, more hot Cheetos. Yes. And more red coloring just to give it that, mm, that look right there. Yes. And I'm just going to squeeze this out of a piping bag directly onto my Oreos just like this. Luckily, you only have to do the ones on the sides and the middle then you just want to go ahead and put that on top just like that put the other one on top just like that oh my gosh look how beautiful this oreo hot cheeto is i can't wait to put it in my mouth oh my gosh guys our hot cheeto oreos are done check them out they look beautiful and they're even bigger than normal oreos which is a plus of making oreos on your own at home so wait let's just look at these let's just inspect these bad boys okay so we got let's see uh, uh, oh, we have our hot Cheeto feeling right here, the creamy goodness right here. I can't wait to try this. Look how bright red this thing is. It is beautiful. Look at all of them here. We have unlimited hot Cheeto cookies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> First, I'm gonna try the, the cream on the inside. Let's go ahead and try that. I like that. Mmm. Mmm. I like it because there's also like the big chunks of, of hot Cheeto in there too, so you can buy it on them and it tastes delicious. Mmm. 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 Okay, now time to try the whole Oreo cookie. Mmm. That was so good. Yes! I can eat this! For real, I can eat this. This is delicious. I love these hot Cheeto Oreos. Oh my god. Chocolate Oreo in the back, but then in the front you also get the hot Cheetos. Because from the actual cream itself. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so delicious. Oh my goodness. This is so good. These are fire. It's so lit. These are so lit. These are so good. Mm. I highly recommend these. I'm not just saying that because Hot Cheetos are my favorite snack and Oreos are my second favorite snack. I actually really love these. These are so good. I wish I could give some of these to you guys, but I can't. So you're just gonna have to follow the DIY and make these because they are amazing. Even the cream is so good. Ah, I would eat the cream by itself all day. Oh my goodness. Mm, I'm gonna get so fat. Now the Oreos and Hot Cheetos have come together in unity. I've always like wondered in my head why there was never Hot Cheeto Oreos. I think because obviously it's like two different companies, but now you can make it yourself. Here, just watching this DIY. Oh my goodness. This is too much for me to handle. This is so much. Hot Cheeto Oreo, just so good. It's just amazing. Like, I didn't think this combination would really work out, but the chocolate and the spiciness is just so delicious. Wait, I have another idea to take this even to the next level. Guys, if you take the Oreo and put even more Hot Cheetos in it, it's like what I used to do with my burgers, where I put french fries in it. Oh my goodness. Wait, I put some more Hot Cheetos in there. We just have these like, these particles right here. Oh my gosh. Let's just see if there's gonna be, if this is gonna even be better. Oh, this is so good. Just for extra crunch, extra hot Cheeto-ness, extra goodness, everything is delicious. I love it so much. 
<laughs> I'm gonna like, oh, I'm gonna run around with these. These are so good. <sighs> I love these. These are so delicious. Make these if you are a hot cheeto or Oreo lover, you will not regret it. These are amazing. I'm gonna have the recipe in the description for you guys. If you guys love hot Cheetos, if you guys like cookies, and you guys love finding secret things, uh, if anyone's ever found the Harambe hot Cheeto, uh, send me a, a picture, I wanna see it, or any other picture. If you guys ever find a hot Cheeto that looks like me, send me a picture on my Twitter, at Marlon Chan, and on my Instagram, at Marlon Ramsey Chan. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow, at 12 p.m. for another new video. <gasps> Peace!